Greetings. I got myself a gadget on eBay um, that I'm quite excited about. Um, this is this is this is here. Uh, this is what came. Um, and uh, what I've ordered is the XR2206 Function Signal Generator DIY Kit. Um, and um, yeah, it's supposed to do a triangle square um, or sine wave uh, from one hertz to one megahertz. And it says DDS on here, but I, as far as I know, the uh, XR2206 is not a DDS chip. But uh, anyways, um, what uh, what got me interested in this um, is the fact that it comes with a nice acrylic enclosure. Um, so we've got um, six pieces of uh, of acrylic cut out that meant to put to, uh, come together like puzzles, um, and you should be able to uh, screw everything together and it becomes a nice little module that you can uh, you can use for different stuff. So I'm sure that will be handy to have. Um, the it came from a seller called uh, Quento, uh, K U E N T L, and the item number is. 2624180043 and yeah um what's uh, what I want to do is uh, put this together and see uh see what this uh what this going whether it's going to work as intended it comes with uh, some sort of schematic and this is uh that's that's all there is to it this is just a A4 piece of paper with one side printed and it's got the listing of the power and uh, and whatnot so the welding installation considerations follow these steps okay and the acrylic is still in uh, in the plastic protective cover and it's got um, all the values and the descriptions uh, engraved into the into the acrylic which is really nice so uh, the paper I'm gonna have to pull off later on and uh, from what I saw on the pictures this is more or less how it's uh, how this comes together so uh, this is probably here and this will be here something like that or probably one of them other way around but you get the idea it makes a nice little uh, compact box uh, where you, you can put your stuff in and it's kind of secure inside and you're not gonna short anything out on anything so you can handle it so um, I quite like that one side of the acrylic um, one side has got a nice little round cutout and the other one is uh, somewhat star shaped so it's I think it's done this way so you it will have a little bit of grip on the on the thread and it will kind of self thread itself uh, around the around the screw overall we've got a handful of uh, components some hardware a PCB a few cups a few resistors a few more cups socket three pots uh, the chip and that's that's all there is to it and the case of course so um, yeah, let's uh, let's put it together. Right. Um, I've just noticed something um, on the description of the electrolytic cups. It says. Positive short feet, negative long feet, uh, but it's exactly opposite uh, with the cap. So the short leg, uh, short shorter lead is uh, always the negative. So uh, that's a little bit confusing over here, but never mind. Right, so that's done. Um, I've, uh, I did a test fit and I've noticed that the shorter screws are not meant to screw to anything. They basically act as standoffs, uh, the nuts. 
Um, so this is meant to go into the base uh, base plastic. So I'm gonna try to peel this off now. And this slots into those little slots. And then we've got the four sides. There we go, that's complete. So, uh, really nice uh, compact module uh, generator. Let's see if this works. So I've connected the meter to the output, I've just uh, put a couple of wires in uh, into the terminal. And uh, it's a shame it hasn't got a single LED to uh, just basically let you know that it's working, but um, it actually is working. So. We are on the highest range, so highest frequency. This is putting out is 1.33, uh, 1.335 megahertz, and we can go down and change the range. Uh, let's go to the second one, 10 to 100 hertz. So the lowest I can get on here is 8 hertz, and the highest. is 220 hertz so actually the um, the span on the ranges is actually quite a bit higher than what described over here which is uh, which is good I guess uh, because there will be you've got wider wider range so this is uh, 100 to 3 kilohertz and we can go as low as 100 170, 180 hertz. A little bit unstable like this. It might be just my meter, so it will be worth looking at this on an oscilloscope. Um, up to 4.2 kilohertz, so again, quite a bit higher than than the 3 kilohertz indicated uh, 3k to 65 kilohertz uh, and it goes from 3k 3.2k to 87 kilohertz That's okay. Um, but overall, um, that's a nice little, um, nice little module gadget gizmo thing uh, to have on your bench for a quick. Uh, if you quickly need uh, to generate a clock or do something, uh, I mean, I'll definitely have a use for this. But um, it's nice little, small enough, 12 volt powered, convenient. Uh, yeah. Uh, Big thumbs up. This is uh, this is a really nice, really nice gadget in a case uh, already. So it's uh, it will be definitely used uh, many times in my experiments. Um, yeah. Um, as far as this video, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you um, enjoyed the video, please subscribe or give me thumbs up. Um, by all means. Uh, have a look on eBay for this uh, this item number. It's really handy if you like tinkering and whatnot. Um, I highly recommend this so far. 
uh, a quick test, quick look at this and uh, easy to build and uh, it does work straight out of the box so nice little gadget, tiny, uh, not much space taking and it looks nice. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and for now take care.